Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to my outdoor adventure review channel. We are going to review another pie iron. This one is by Rome. I got the extra large size. And along with that, I did get the recipe book. I highly recommend this recipe book. There are a lot of really gourmet looking, nice looking, simple looking recipes in here. We are going to do in a PB pickle. I've heard of this. I've never tried it. I love pickles, peanut butter, and bread, so we'll see how it goes. I have not opened this yet, so I am not sure if this comes pre-seasoned. Heavy duty cast iron. Now, this is quite substantial. The handles are substantial. This, unlike the other pie iron I reviewed, hooks on together. So that will help keeping the contents inside of the pie iron together. Looks like you can separate this. Since 1954, I think, Rome Extra Large Square Pie Iron. All right, let's open this up. Oh yeah, that's, that's a great size. I think that'll fit most standard slices of bread pretty well. This does come with some recipes. Okay, so some continuing care tips. After each use, clean the pie iron with hot water and a soft brush or sponge. A mild soap may be used with care. However, cleaning with too much soap or an abrasive brush could remove the seasoned finish. Always dry it completely. Oh, this is pre-seasoned. I almost completely ripped that off. Okay. Your Rome pie iron has now been pre-seasoned and is ready for use. Okay, good. There are a good amount of recipes in here. We've got some sweet treats, classic fruit pudgy pies, sweet and salty s'mores, honey date pie, banana split, and then there's some savory pies and sandwiches, Dutch ham and cheese, grilled caprese. I think there's a recipe in there as well for that. And then beyond pies and sandwiches, you got eggs and potatoes, meat and fish, and a 10 year warranty. We've pretty much lost all daylight. So we are gonna work with the fire that we have and some tips on how to load your pie iron. You'll use margarine or cooking spray to coat the uh, pie iron or the bread. Then you'll place your bread down load your filling, and then put your other piece of bread over that. And this recommends to not be, um, this says that some ingredients will cook down, so go ahead and load up your pie iron. I almost was gonna make the Elvis, the fat Elvis, which is peanut butter, banana, bacon. Yeah, that looks good too. You'll use your bread. I got wheat bread. This is white bread, but I'm sure you use whatever bread you want. Uh, peanut butter, dill pickles, sliced, and lots of them. So we are going to butter our bread now. It is a bit chilly, so probably actually also put some butter in the pie iron. Okay, that'll melt. Oh, that fits beautifully. Beautifully. So perfect. We'll get our peanut butter. This is going to be ooey gooey. I think that is a very good amount of peanut butter. Now for the pickle. We're just gonna go ahead with two. Why did this only have it on one side? No, I'll do three. All right. I'm just gonna put the butter in here. That's good. That worked well. Do I put peanut butter on this other side? No. The tips in the cookbook 
are to put your pie iron in the fire as flat as possible. And then depending on what you are making in your pie iron, you're gonna wanna check on it like every three, every few minutes. You're gonna wanna check on it every few minutes and turn it every three to 10 minutes. So this is probably not gonna take very long. I will be checking it every three minutes. The wood from Maverick does not burn very well. That is as flat as I can get it. Ideally, you'd probably want it on some coals, but this has been going for probably almost an hour now. And this I've had this wood for a while. It's bone dry. I'm never going to buy wood from Maverick again. All right, we will come back when we flip it and check on how it is doing. I think there's progress. Smoking. Ooh. What? Oh no, okay. Um, it's still sticking to the cast iron, so we're gonna let that go. Continue. Seems like I hear the butter dripping out of here. Let me just see what's going on on this side. Nothing. Oh my, that's very well done. Very well done. All right, let's do the other side. I'm resting it on this other log just so it's not directly on the fire because that is probably what burned the other side so we'll let that go for a bit and then come back and try it let's check the other side flip it yeah so the piece of bread doesn't want to come off Putting some peanut butter on the other piece of bread would have helped it all stick together. So you should probably put your items on each slice of bread. We have a well done piece here. Okay. This side is almost perfect. The, the recipe book did say, be careful because some items will be hot for a long time. And that includes vegetables and fruit. And so these pickles are probably going to be very hot. Let's try a not so burned side. I see what they mean when they say put a lot of pickles on there. It's hard to taste the peanut butter. I taste the pickle. It's not very overpowering. I taste the butter. I thought I put a ton of peanut butter on here. I must not have. It's not all that flavorful. It's not disgusting. The ingredients aren't really popping out at me. I think the pickles cooked down, so the flavor there isn't as strong. Definitely should have put peanut butter on both sides, more peanut butter. But it is tasty. I'll have to give it another go around, cook it much more quickly than I did. And uh, see how that turns out. This is a cover that I purchased for the pie iron and 
I wasn't thinking clearly and I ripped the buttons off. So this is supposed to fit nicely over. High iron. Okay, I don't think that's gonna fit. No. Is it? No, oh, it is. Okay, come on. <laughs> it's messy. There was a tip in the recipe book that said if you have any old bags from camp chairs you can use the bags as a i'll have to see if that works when it cools off but you can use the old camp chair bags as a bag for the pie iron what i really like about this is the size i think that this should be the standard size for pie irons i like that it is really heavy duty i love that it came pre-seasoned thank you for that because you buy this, you take it right to the outdoors and you want to use it right away. So it's good that they pre-season this. I like that the handles are, as I said earlier, very robust. And that this clip keeps both of the handles together closed. Overall, I think that this is a great pie iron. I will be using this on many more camping trips to come. So check out my vlog channel, Rachel in Real Life, for that because I will be cooking more recipes from the cookbook. And let me know if you've ever used a Rome pie iron. What do you think? And what kind of pudgy pies do you make? I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.